been a beautiful experience. I could just feel my heart and the joy. And I felt my whole crown chakra just lift up. Our temple name is Dharma Vijaya Buddhist Vihara. It means victory of righteousness. For us Buddhist monks, mean simple, humble, as well as person who lives present moment, right now, right here, things look things as it is. When you performed your sutra on me, which you call the Loving Kindness Sutra, I felt my whole crown chakra just lift up. And also I could feel the mantra vibration changing my field, my energy field. I truly felt the aura being shaped by the mantra. Is that the intent of the mantra? Our suttas which we practice, our monasteries and we are chanting has a lot of power. Power of the sutta is love as well as through the chanting vibration. I knew that you felt that way, you got a greatest results because yourself you have been practicing as a wonderful healer as well as most compassionate man. That is the reason why you right away got effect because that is also loving kindness so that you are practicing loving kindness too. Right, I could really feel it. I mean, I could feel it resonate clear through me and holding the string and the symbology and just the acceptance of, of being part of the union. When you hold in that white thread, it is a unity, you and ourselves. We chanted through loving kindness. You had a, your own trust and faith. We are tied together this trust and compassion. Do the Buddhists have, other than chanting, do they do laying on of hands or other modalities dealing with healing? Um, healing, there are so many ways we do. Some of, we believe in this world, not only human beings, there are so many hungry ghosts, earthbound ghosts, through our naked eyes, we cannot see some kind of living beings are living. Mm -hmm. Those people are sometimes make a troubles, problems for us. So only way to get rid of them, not to destroy, get away from them, when we chant in these powerful suttas, they cannot stay that places, make a trouble for human beings. How do you channel the energy? Uh, energy channel so many ways. Uh, one thing mind to mind, indirectly mind to mind. Mind to mind. Mind to mind. Then that's the first main way because this is how it works together again, faith and compassion. What do you mean, like a dialogue mind? No, no, mind no, 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 no. no. Listener, how to the person who listens sh must have a faith on it. A faith? A faith. We call sadha. Faith, the faith. We have faith. The person who chant, that person must have a compassion, pure, pure compassion. Then compassion and faith or trust. Uh -huh. works together. Now, if someone did not speak your language, could you still communicate that vibration to them? Yes, of course, this is even not my language. This is an ancient Indian language, is called Pali. It has been chanting over 2,600 years, continuously, all the time, 
all the moment, this sound, this vibration in the skies all the time. Therefore, this sound connect every moment. Even present moment in Sri Lanka, Thailand, Cambodia, Burma, even India, these monks are chanting this vibration sound in the sky. So you feel that this is being built up in the etheric around the earth? If I say like an example, when I want to hear any uh, news from England, BBC News, uh -huh. if I turn on my radio here at 7 o'clock, then right away I get a BBC News. Right. Because it is uh, that vibration sound in the sky. Right. Similarly, this sound have been familiar. This sky, in the uh, this earth, or we call in the uh, atmosphere, so many thousand thousand years. Do any of the monks do channeling or astral projection or other psychic phenomena? Well, in Buddha himself, he did. Uh, he is was a greatest not only healer, psychic reader, and not only human beings. He could read in the. He could not communicate any other planets also. On other planets. Yes. However, Buddha did not encourage monk to practice because, due to many reasons, he says better not to do that. Do you practice uh, astral projection at this monastery? No, we do not practice astral projections. However, sometimes I do practice psychic reading. Psychic reading? Yeah. In what form would that take? Uh, for me, it means I have uh, some ability to find out other people's problems. I know perhaps through loving-kindness meditation. I have a, some kind of ability to... So you pick up a vibration through meditation that uh, gives you the information on the insights of another person. Exactly. So you don't do palmistry or you don't do the medicine cards, but you do... You do... I mean, because you see a lot of psychic pairs and you have all kinds of psychics doing different kind of readings. Right. But what do people come to you and make an appointment? No, uh, sometimes people come to visit us. If they have uh, any problem, I may able to find out what are the problems. Physical body and mind work together. If your mind is sick, physical body also sick. When physical body is sick, mind also sick. Therefore, have to cure together equally balancing. Doctor gives medicine, we should give a peace to them. Do you do any work with your dreams? Not really, because the Buddha really did not encourage those things. Buddha says those are animal science, not to practice much. However, uh, like uh, Western psychology, we analyze why people see the dream, like a Western side, cause and effect. We do many healings in hospital. 